You've heard what Claudia Munoz had to say. Well, actually, I want to go back to what Beatrice said sure. two minutes ago, which was, was, you know, chess makes you smart and helps you in a number of ways. You know, I mean, I obviously played chess when I was a teenager, and then I went off to work. And, and people always said, how has chess helped you and has it helped you? And I was never sure until a few years ago when I, when I thought back through my whole career and I said, I was always able to analyze things very clearly. I could say, if I do that, then this happens or that happens and go down various paths. And I always was able to make good, logical, sound decisions you know, in a calm, rational, logical way. And I, and I think chess did that for me. And I, I don't think I could have done it otherwise. In terms of social media, the Marshall Chess Club never had a Facebook page until a couple of years ago. Um, we actually have a Twitter account and, and we do tweets. So we're doing a lot of things we never did. And in terms of growth, I think growth is, is going to go two different ways. It's going to grow in a lot more people. And it's going to grow with a lot of people who are getting much better at chess. So, you know, so where as most people were down at that level, the, the quality of play is really going up. I, I, something I'm really fascinated with, Bruce. For, for those that don't know Bruce, there was a movie a few years back called uh, and, the Search for... Search, and Searching. Searching. And search, I always get the title mixed up. But you were played by Ben Killings, Killings? Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley, okay. Um, and that was based on loosely, I guess, um, uh, Josh. Uh, Josh, uh, was it Josh? Josh Waiskin. Josh Waiskin's yeah. book. Yeah. So, you, and you've also coached Fabiano. Um, Caden's about to call in. I want to ask him something related to, to Fabiano. He had to go to Europe in order to move up the rankings or to move up the. the get more exposure or whatever the case may be. Why, why do you think that we couldn't have that here in America right now and, and stop sending our talent abroad? I think we could have that here in America right now. We have a lot of talented major trainers now living here who come from Eastern Europe and other parts of the world, established themselves here. They can help players like Fabiano. Uh, Fabiano's mother was an Italian citizen, so it allowed him to back to Italy and take advantage of, uh, advantage of some of those opportunities that he wouldn't be as competitive. Uh, here he'd be very competitive. There'd be a lot of people challenging him for different things, which is good in one sense. But he had more opportunities to get state support there, I think. Although he wound up living in Spain for a while. And uh, he also had access to very fine trainers there. He thought he, could, he thought he could travel around, I believe, and play in more tournaments there. We don't have a lot of tournaments here for right. top level players. Perhaps that's the, the, the most important thing. Uh, you get more opportunities to play serious chess. Now, that may be compensated for with the internet in the future. Maybe we'll be playing lots of serious chess on the internet, you know, right from your, your home. I mean, it's just a matter of times we have major tournaments arranged for, you know, right here, in that sense. Um, yeah, but I was associated with that. Okay. Again. Give me one second, guys. Hello? Hey, Caden, how are you? Give me one second. Let me just introduce you really quick. Thanks for calling in. On the Skype line, we have with us Caden Troll. Just to let you know, you guys know, I don't know if you're familiar with Caden Troll. I know some of you are. Caden Troll, and correct me if I'm wrong, Caden. Can you hear me okay? Okay, great. Caden Troll actually just earned his third GM norm. You just earned your third GM norm, correct? Yeah. Okay, third GM norm. And you're a couple of points shy from, what, 2,500? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I need you to speak up because I have this, I have us as loud as we can go. Because Mike just need you to speak up just a little bit. So, Caden, welcome to the state of chess in America. You're here live. You're here live. So, I understand you have some sponsorships that you need to get out of the way. Uh, to, to, to pay some bills, so you want to get mentioned your affiliations? Hey, much better. Okay, Cadence, so let's get your sponsorships out of the way. I know you're with the Casparov Foundation and Chess.com, correct? Um, well, it, it's 
a, it's a partnership program um, with the Cancer Chess Foundation, and um, and so they they just they talked about it a ton. Um, they, they provided a lot of facility for me, and it definitely if you look at kind of my rating changes, it's like kind of it has started not talking. I feel like I'm grateful to all this. Okay, so so Kaden, you are a GM elect, a grandmaster elect currently. You're a few rating points away from becoming a GM. What what yeah, would it just, it, go ahead, go ahead. It, it just got approved at the beginning of the month. So. so what does that so what does that mean? What are you telling us? What? What are you telling us? What does that mean it got approved? Oh yeah, so you get to your norms. Um and then they actually, they, they do that. So you guys will get it worked out and put it in Phoenix, and then they, they kind of see that, and they actually have to approve it to, um, you know, just make sure everything was okay and everything they worked out with all the fun. So that means you are a GM now? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a GM. Okay, so all right. It was approved in great. I just, I just wanted to so, wait before I bigged you up, okay. Yeah, Kaden. No. Kaden, how old are you, Kaden? Let the audience know how old you are. Uh, I'm, I'm 15 and 2016 next month. We have a GM. Kaden, that's awesome. You are the future of chess. You are the newest GM in this country. Do you know, do you know I, I've seen you, you, I think you played... Um, Jacqueline? Who did you play last year that you beat? Uh, uh, um, I forget these guys. Who did you play in the St. Louis and you beat these, this guy last year in the St. Louis? The GM. A strong, a strength, who, who coaches here? Uh, Chapunsky. Yeah, yeah, I watched that game. That was a pre- yeah, that was a pretty good game. You actually put it on him. Very good. So, listen to me. You are the future of chess in America. So you, if you, if you keep your, your, your wits about you and you, and you stay focused, you will probably be battling the top 10 players in the world. How does that make you feel? Um, well, it's it, 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 it one step at a time. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm just, I'm just glad to do uh, my third year one. But there's definitely a, a, still a huge gap in between where I am and where I want to be in the future. Um, so, I, I mean, it, it, it's still a lot of work. So at the age of 15, 16 years old, what, what drives you? What drove you to this level? Because that's, that's an insurmountable goal to become a GM at this age. It just, it's, I, can't, I, do, I just can't fathom it. What drove you? What drives you? Hey, Katie, your, your phone's breaking up a little bit, Katie, just a little bit. You might want, can you change areas or locations really quick? I think we got you for about two, three more minutes. Okay. Okay. So what, uh, yeah, what, uh, yeah, what were you saying? Um, so I think me, just, just the fact that I really enjoy it and um, just the competitiveness has um, really been the drive. Be a little bit harder in Utah because there's yeah. not a huge chess community at the top level. But uh, just have to remind myself that what I really like trying to make the wall work. Okay, this is this is kind of like my last question. I was just talking about Fabiano Carano. I was getting his name mixed up. Fabiano had to go abroad to, to, to play competitive chess, I, I believe. Maybe that was the decision that drove him. Do you feel that you will have to also go abroad, or can you do what you need to do here in, in the States? I know it, it, it's 
hard to stay here because, you know, the, the European tournaments are a lot different. Yeah. Uh, especially with the, the one game per day over two games per day, that is usual in the U.S. And, you know, that's, that's what all the top tournaments are being played, are like one game per day, these, these international huge tournaments. And so I think um, kind of having to experience that and be playing well on game per day is what I have to really aim for, and there's definitely a lot more of that out of the country. Okay, so... I don't want to read too much into it, so it sounds to me like you'll be looking for more opportunities abroad than here in the States? Um, yeah, yeah I, I, think, I think there's, there's a definite balance. But uh, I, I think you kind of have to, you have to be both. I mean, I don't think you can focus totally here, and I don't think until you get to the top level, you can focus totally outside of you. I think it has to be a balance. Okay, I'll give you the last word. What is it that you want the, the chess community to know about Caden Trove, where you're going? You know, I'll give you the last word. Um, well, honestly, it's inspired for me and just last year. Um, I, just, I, I just have to say thank you to the whole chess community. I mean, it's something I love, and I love to see that reflected in other people's lives. And so I'm just, I'm just glad that there is this whole chess community on all sorts of different levels. And, you know, I, I just tell people to go for it because there's, there's definitely success at all different levels of chess. And I, it's just a great thing we can do to, you know, just hang out, have a good time. Okay, Caden, continued success. I'm going to be following your career. You and Sam Sevian, you're, you're like my, my favorite newcomers, so to speak. I follow you guys a lot. Um, continued success, and I'll uh, I'll see I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Thanks for so thanks for calling in. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hayden Trout, guys. So, this is the segment I like to call "Chest Out." I'll give the panel their party shots. Anything that you want to talk about regarding chess? And uh, we're going to get out of here. Ladies first, please. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what can I say? I mean, chess is just wonderful. I, I, I think it's, you know, I, when I decided to stay in chess for, for life, I, I made a very good choice. So personally speaking, I, I'm very pleased with what I have done in terms of uh, dedicating my life to chess. Um, not the most conventional choice. Um, perhaps many more challenges than other activities, but at the same time far more rewarding in terms of uh, how you feel about yourself and getting up every day and saying, okay, I have done something that I love to do. Uh, but in any case, chess is good for everybody, regardless if they decide to go full-time into chess, part-time into chess, or just play a casual game or play online occasionally. So keep, keep playing, and uh, we have a great community here in New York and, and the world that support us. Okay, I'll give, the, uh, I'll give you last word. I'll give you, uh, Mr. Alton. So many nice things have been said here, and I've enjoyed this uh, session. I love chess, as my three co-panelists do. Uh, Tra traps, and zaps, traps and zaps. Title that was gotten in a bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a bar late one night, and somebody next to me, chess player, said something about traps, and someone to my right said something about zaps. Yeah, you really zapped when you said that. Traps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of stuck. Yeah. Guys, that sold so many copies. It sure did. Based on the title. It yeah. sure did. Not a great book. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, anyhow, I, since 1972, I've probably given something like. 30,000 or more chess lessons. I hope to give another 30,000 or more all right. chess lessons. All right, all right. I hope you do. <laughs> Mr. I am, I mean, Mr. International Coach, Nat National Master. Um, I have a saying, I always say that uh, when man plays chess, he moves pieces. Uh, when God plays chess, he moves men. 
Uh, I, I had an extraordinary journey in South Africa for three years. Uh, I would like to also thank Mr. McAnulty uh, who sent me uh, on, on that journey. Uh, and I got to see a different side of the world. Um, and one of the, the biz, biggest things you should know is that chess is, chess is a universal. I mean, no matter where you go in the world, people love chess. Uh, and that universal is so powerful that it transcends age, uh, it transcends uh, color, it, it, it transcends class. Uh, I don't know if there's a distinction. The kid in the township in South Africa is playing the uh, kid living in the so-called gated or elite community in South Africa. They're, they're meeting on the same chessboard. So I think it's amazing how chess brings people together. Uh, and so I'm really happy to be a pawn in the hand of God. So. Mr. President. Um, well, Sean, first, I want to thank you. I think what you're doing with your interviews is great. And, uh, so I thank you for that. I thank you for letting the marshal host this, and we'd be happy to do it in the future. And to end it with Kate and Sam Seven, I just want you to want to mention one more name, which is a wonder yet. A wonder won the under eight world championship. He won the under 10 world champion just a few months ago. Um, he's ahead of everyone else's um, record in terms of performance. And he's been rings 2400 now, which is a senior master. And, and, um, he's phenomenal. He's also coming to New York and he's in a fan of New York International. But that's the kind of kids that we have in the United States today. May I add that he will also play in the North American Youth Championship in Havertown, New York, right before the New York International. He will play in the under 18 section, which uh, if he wins that section, he will get the international master title. So I'm um, and, and he's on the The online audience for watching The State of Chess in America, you can always reach me at Sean Miller Chess on uh, YouTube. You can subscribe there, feel free. You can reach me at Chess Scene in New York. You can reach me at C Chess New York Style at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.